Yeah, you know what this reminds me of is uh, J. Edgar Hoover. Yeah. He started collecting information on people back in the 20s, and yeah. it, it eventually, you know, as absolute power corrupts absolutely, was using that yeah. information against everybody to... Oh, including presidents. <laughs> yes, including presidents, <laughs> to, uh, to in, in, entrench his power and the power of the FBI. Well, this information is kind of... A, we're still, uh, like, in the early 1920s, if you're comparing eras, you know, of, of this... You know, a warrantless, warrantless data collection. Well, this, you know, this, there, there's one thing that uh, standing in, in, the, in the data stream, you know, if you will, and just basically watching packets go by. Um, you know, that's one thing. I don't really too much have any issues with that, especially if they're looking for something like a terrorist. You know, I don't really have a problem with that. But, you know, when we start talking, uh, you know, national security letters where they don't have to get a, a, a warrant to get information off of servers that, you know, don't belong to you and don't belong, but belong to your ISP provider, you know, my nightmare is, and I've said this before, is somebody's going to pull one of these one of these times, and they're going to, like, actually get the right guy. Like, the information will be inadmissible, and this guy will get off. And, uh, you know, it may not be for a terrorist crime. It might be for another kind of crime, you know, a murder or something like that. And the guy will get off because, guess what? It's inadmissible evidence now because you didn't get a warrant. You know, stuff like that. That's why they, they make you get a warrant. And, uh, and I hear people, people, people say, oh, it takes too much time. It's like, pick up a phone, get a telephonic warrant. Takes 15 minutes. It's not that hard. Come yeah, on. yeah. There's that side of it, and that, that, that's the uh, above the table, you know, legal yeah. legal requirements to be met. Yeah, sure. Then what? What about the under the table? Now, maybe this is you know getting too much into conspiracy theories, but if uh, if they're collecting and assembling and and making coherent bodies of information on people. Mm-hmm. And essentially building cases on people, potential cases, you know, people that well, may or may not be enemies of the state. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's not so much potential cases. What they're looking for is anything that they can profile, that profiles you as being a, a terrorist. But this goes back to the, the Missouri uh, uh, profiling report that came out about a month ago. Did you hear about that? No. You know, oh, you didn't hear about that? Where the uh, uh, State uh, Department of Law Enforcement in Missouri basically came out with one of their little uh, reports saying basically anyone who supported Ron Paul uh, was an extremist. Oh, that was Missouri. Okay. Yeah, that was in Missouri. Yeah, that came out of Missouri. And and there's a series of those little uh, centers for intelligence gathering that they've they've funded throughout all 50 states. Uh, They even have one here in Idaho. And basically they're just, you know, trying to figure out uh, who's doing what. And it's like the case is they're they're basically blindly labeling people without actually checking the information clearly. Uh, And it's kind of, well, it's just actually, it's kind of sad because the fact is, is they're, they're in their minds, they're planting the leaves of their, that they're going to have to pull at some point. And at that point, it's like, well, you know, uh, uh, why, would, uh, why would you worry about if someone's a libertarian or if someone's a Republican or if someone's a Democrat? Uh, at some point, it's, it comes around and bites everybody if you, if you do that. Because uh, basically, you know, you can point fingers at somebody and say, you know, you're evil. Well, you know, you, you don't have to have a reason for it. You just say it. Well, you're a libertarian. Well, so... Uh, I'm a libertarian. I believe in freedom. I believe in uh, individual choice and all those things. But you know, come on, uh, this is uh, this is the kind of paranoia that uh, uh, that stuff like this generates. And sometimes it's necessary that it generate this kind of paranoia because it's, it's just a question of of asking the questions of what's going on. In this case, I think the uh, going back to the original question, I think the White House was uh, right uh, that does give somebody there to have an interface with, kind of a, a, an internet uh, go-to man, if you will. But I'm not sure that they need to have a czar per se, some guy who's the entire focusing point for all this information. They have people at FCC that do this. They have people at the Secret Service who actually do this as well, by the way. They're the guys who handle Internet uh, crimes and stuff like that. And also, uh, NSA does a a pretty good job of tracking uh, terrorists uh, on the Internet as well. So it's actually already pretty well handled. Yeah. Uh, I'm not so sure they actually just need a a one man to go to on this, because it's just uh, when I see that, I'm just looking and saying, well, you know, that's nice. It's a good dog and pony, uh, you know, horse and horse and buggy or dog and pony, however you want to call it. It's, it's a good show, but it doesn't really do anything. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel any safer. This is like nope. the same nope. team as last nope. call we had. <laughs> Not a bit. <laughs> it seems like more incompetent people trying to uh, uh, enact policy, which potentially is economically threatening, depending on what kind of policy they pick. It, it could be economically threatening, or if they do it wrong and they identify the wrong people, oh, it could be threatening to everyone. 
you know? Yeah. Because you can threaten people who are completely innocent. And that's another problem when you have uh, with uh, doing stuff like this. So it's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then I can imagine the political uh, uh, angles on things where they will have to, um, you know, you know how like they check old ladies at the airport, you know, for bombs, you know, in their wheelchairs. <laughs> they're going to be, they're probably going to get into a thing where you know the information you collect has to be demographically balanced. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll profile it so it's it's uh, basically cleaned of any any uh, any actual data. So it's, it doesn't tell you anything. It's just but it's but it's still data. So it must have something good in it. And it really don't tell you anything because um, they have basically nulled it out to the point where there's no data that's worth mining out of it. So you know, I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, we're gonna have to see what happens on this one. I don't have high hopes for this new czar. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, I don't see is where there's a whole big cause for it or a whole big need for it at this point. I have a feeling he'll just be one of those uh, names on the uh, on the uh, on the list of the National Security Council who can get into the special meetings, but other than that yeah, I don't see if they'll, they'll have anything special or extra special. You know? <laughs> uh, I don't know. They just... Uh I think they just like to expand the scope of their control, uh, even if it's incompetent. That's just their nature. They think they need to meddle yeah. in everything and micromanage yeah. everybody. There you go. I, I, I tend to agree. <laughs> okay, well, Lauren. Yeah, I know you got to go. Thanks for uh, chiming in on this one. Uh, uh, let's check in another couple weeks. Let's uh, collect and keep our uh, our eye on the news uh, of this nature, and let's uh, let's uh, keep uh, keep freedom as as. Um, as uh, free as we can get it, though we know that freedom is not free. That's uh, why we gotta That's we gotta be vigilant. That's true. Excellent. Thanks. Well, I'll talk to you in a couple of weeks, then, Joey. Yes. Have a good one. Now, Thanks, okay? Lonnie Holcomb. You too. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye now. Bye bye.